Hello, my name is Daryl Red Cloud. I am a descendant of Chief Red Cloud of the Oglala Lakota people from Pine Ridge, South Dakota. Today I would like to share a story with you about Mother Nature. This, was, this story was shared with our people, with my family, and it's been carried for generation after generation from my grandfather, Chief Red Cloud, when he was just a little boy. The story goes like this. The old ones told it like this, and this is the way they told it to me. Our people were traveling from one area to the next, following the Tchatanka, the buffalo. For some reason at that time, food was hard to come by. Our people were traveling. They found themselves near the sacred Black Hills. Along the hills, the beautiful pine trees and so forth. They found an area where they wanted to camp. A longer waterway that was almost dried up. Our people began to set up the teepees here and there in a big circle, the way our people camp. During that time, the warriors decided to get together and go find something to eat. Maybe go look for the khatanka, the buffalo, the hechaka, the elk with big horns. They gathered and they did their ceremony. They sang their songs. They danced their dance. When they finished with ceremony, they made their way out of the village. After the warriors left and the rest of the people came together and helped one another to set up the remaining teepees for the village, the children, the elderly, and the lady folks. As they went about setting up the teepees, and out of one of those teepees steps a lady. She looks around into the surrounding area for any sign of the warriors coming back with something to eat. No sign of the warriors. So she calls out to her children. She says, Come back now, we are going to eat. Sure enough, two little children come running back. It was a little boy and a little girl. She gathers them up by the hand and takes them inside the teepee. Sets them down by the fire that burns within. She digs around in her belongings and she pulls out a piece of dry buffalo meat, her last one. She puts it onto a stick and starts to cook it over the flame. The aroma of this starts to circle with inside the teepee. No sooner than a it leaves the top through the opening. She hears an elderly voice from outside. Dua enayanka huo. Is there anybody home? So the lady calls to the door and she says, Tima huo. Tima huo. Come on in, she says. The door opens and in steps this lady. Really long hair. Gray. The buckskin dress she was wearing had holes in it here and there. Even the moccasins she was wearing looked like she come from a long ways. She told the young mother, I smelt what you was cooking, so I came. Where I come from, my people, they need help. So if you give me a little piece of your dry meat, I'll take it back to my people, they need help. So the young mother looks at her children and she looks back at the elderly lady and she breaks off a piece of that dry buffalo meat and gives it to her. The elderly lady receives it and says, Oh, Pila, Pila, my Thank you, thank you very much. Before she leaves the teepee, she tells the young mother, Tomorrow morning, when the new day starts, the morning star comes. The new day starts to come upon us. 
gather all the people together. Take them to the top of the hill to the east. What your people need, what they are looking for, they will be there for them. Then she turns and leaves the teepee. So the young mother goes about feeding her children. Whenever they get done, she gathers them up again and takes them over to the big lodge where the elders are speaking, sharing knowledge and wisdom. She goes in and she tells them about the lady that came and what she said. So they tell her, we'll wait till that time. Then we'll go see what's on the other side. So the lady gathers her children again and brings them back to her teepee. She lays them down on some nice soft buffalo skin to get some rest. Sure enough, whenever that time comes, the new day starts, the morning stars coming, the dawn daylight is coming. She wakes them up and takes them back over to the big lodge again. By then, some of the people are already gathering. They heard about what's going to take place. As they gathered and started to make their way, some of the little children came running out and they were happy because they were going somewhere. The people were going somewhere. The little children were playing all around. The elderly people, they got their walking sticks and they start making their way to the top of the hill. As the people gathered on top of the hill, they said they seen one of the most beautiful sights they've ever seen. The sun was shining bright, nice, clear, bright, beautiful sky. The birds were singing their beautiful songs. At the bottom of the hill, so far in one direction, you could see Tratanka, the buffalo. Off in another direction, you could see Hechaka, the elk with big horns. Down the middle, you could see a few deer jumping around. Tachja. At the bottom of the hill, there was nice, clear spring water that was running by. Along the spring, there was berries of different kinds that were growing. Along the stream, there was natural medicines that Mother Earth provides for all to help themselves. Right away, the people got happy of they seen what they seen. So they ran down and some of them went out hunting the Tathanka, the buffalo. Some of the ladies went over and they started picking the berries. The little children ran to the spring and they, they drank some water to bless themselves. Other people went and they started to pick the natural medicines that Mother Nature provides for our people and for all of creation. As they were gathering all of this on top of the hill, the chief, the medicine man, and the woman, they stood. And the two men told the woman, the woman that came to your teepee last night was Mother Nature, Uchimaka. She fixed herself up in this way. And when she said, my people, she was talking about all of creation, the grass, the flowers, the trees, all the animals, the ones that fly in the sky, the ones that walk on four legs, even the ones that swim in the water. All of mankind, red, yellow, black, and white. All of creation, the sun, the moon, the stars, the wind that blows and gives breath of life. The water that flows and helps everything to live. Even all the creature crawling critters that crawl upon Mother Earth was her people. So the chief said, from this day forward, we will give thanks to Creator and give back to Mother Nature because she provides for us day after day, year after year, generation after generation. We will do this ceremony when the little deer are born with spots on their back, when the birds fly back over again, 
when the little rabbits are playing in the field. And we'll call this Omakateja, a new year. From that time on, the ceremony has been coming year after year after year after year. And every year when the grass gets green, all is remembered and all is given back to Mother Nature, for she provides for everybody. Thank you. With every song, there is a story. With every story, there is a song. And this is how we taught our people, our younger generations. This is how we taught life lessons on how to walk in harmony upon Mother Earth. To understand that we only need just enough to survive. To understand that we need to keep the water clean for the ones that are yet to come. To understand that we all need this clean air to breathe so that this will be here for our future generation. So Mother Earth is the name of the story. And here is the song that goes along with it. Sometimes it's loud, sometimes it's soft. Mother Earth is that way. All of creation is that way. During a rainstorm, it's really loud, thunder, lightning. Sometimes it's a beautiful day, like today. And that's how the song goes. Sometimes it's loud, sometimes it's soft. Hey yo, 